This is a review of Benchmade's Mini Grip Talion 556. The 556 is the one with the thumb stud as opposed to the thumb hole. Uh, what an excellent little knife. This is such a cool knife. Comes with Velox handles, which are basically fiberglass reinforced nylon. Uh, just another polymer. Everyone's got a different name for that. Um, but it's got this uh, this nice texturing right here, which uh, gives you a fair amount of grip. And they're contoured, uh, nice and rounded, which fits in your hand quite well. Uh, you can deploy it with the, uh, the thumb stud. Uh, it just flips right out. You've got a modified drop point blade made out of 154 cm um, to great steel. I've had uh, quite good luck with it. I've, I've found that it, it holds an edge quite well. And the blade length is 2.91 inches, which is uh, about what I like for my, my EDC blades. Uh, there's some jimping on the back of the, the blade here, and uh, it extends into the grip. The liners have some jimping, as well as the uh, Velox handles have it as well. So plenty to rest your thumb on right there. You can get uh, a solid three finger grip. You can almost get your fourth finger on there. Um, but for me, my, my pinky is just kind of sliding off, but regardless, uh, it is still quite comfortable in the hand and, uh, it feels quite secure. Great little knife. It's got Benchmade's, uh, axis lock right here, which, uh, is, is a really cool locking mechanism. Uh, it's kind of hard to do this in front of the camera, but you can just, uh, you disengage that and it just flips out and flips in, flips out and it, uh, I mean, it's just so smooth and so easy to open and close. Uh, really fun little locking mechanism, and it's uh, it's a very strong and secure locking mechanism as well. Uh, not much bad to say about this knife. Uh, there is a larger version, the Griptilian, which is another uh, an extra half inch, and the the handles are substantially larger. But uh, for an everyday carry knife, I think the uh, the Mini Griptilian is just excellent. There's also some jimping down here in the finger area, which adds to the grip, and some uh, some texturing here on the Zyx handle as well. Um, on the top and bottom, so it's kind of got it everywhere, which uh, really gives you a nice, nice firm grip on there. Pocket clip is uh, tip up only, but you can swap it left or right hand side. Uh, it usually comes from the factory. Uh, if you buy the stock ones, if you don't do a custom mini grip tillion on their website, if you just buy a stock 556, five, it's going to come with a, a pretty crappy uh, rectangular uh, painted pocket clip which I did not like so uh, I called up Benchmade and uh, or rather emailed them and I, I got this uh, split arrow black oxide clip because the black oxide wears a lot better than the uh, the paint does the paint chips off quite easily and uh, I, I wasn't too happy with it so I, I got this uh, free of charge they sent it to me in a couple of days and uh, slap that on I think it looks amazing and it wears a lot better than that painted pocket clip does so uh, as far as an EDC knife, this is definitely one of my favorites. I, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Uh, the weight is only 2.56 ounces, so quite light. Um, maybe a little steep in price, but I think for uh, the fit and finish and the materials and everything, I think the, the quality of the blade uh, is just uh, is great. So uh, the price point on these around... 70 to 80 bucks is what you can find if you if you search uh, you can find it for about 70 or 80 bucks um, And I think it's it's definitely work, worth it. Uh, one of my favorite EDC blades uh, the Benchmade mini grip Tillion 556